Hey guys, Steve here. Today I want to talk about the different options available for the 13 foot scamp. It's the smallest size scamp available. It's my favorite size scamp, so here we go. <laughs> So we're going to be taking a look at the SCAMP website, which is a great source of information about the SCAMPs. Just a quick Google search of SCAMP trailer will take you right there. And now once the page opens, we'll see there's a section where you can click to view details about the various sizes available. Of course, you have the 13 foot, which is the smallest, the 16 footer, which gives a little bit more elbow room, a little bit more space. And then you have the 19 foot fifth wheel. But in this video, we're going to be focused on the 13 foot options. As with all the different sizes, the initial choice is do you want standard, do you want deluxe? Now the main difference between the two is that the standard has fiberglass cabinets with the wood panel doors on those cabinets, whereas the deluxe is all, all wood. Regardless of whether or not it's standard or deluxe, there are some standard features that come in all the scamps and you know there really are a lot of good features that you get automatically before you even begin looking at any of the add-ons. Now I'll just run through the list, going with the left column first and then the right. You have the two burner stove, you have uh, kitchen sink, sink cover, black splash. Each scamp comes with a spare tire on the cover. Of course, you got the jacks in the back, the stabilizers. Um, you got a GFI outlet. That's a new feature. Actually, our scamp's a 2005, and that's one thing I've missed is that there is no outlet on the exterior to plug in lights or something like that. So that's a cool feature that they've added, and that does come stock. You know, you got the, the city water hookups, and then the gray water tank for that as well. There's the roof vent, there's a fridge and water heater, and the water pump, uh, and the battery pack. And another good feature that's new is the vault meter. You know, that's not something that came on our 2005, so, you know, I have to check uh, the battery. It's a little bit more manual. Um, and also the rear overhead cabinets. Now, I'm really not sure if that was a standard feature in the 2005 or not. I know ours does not have it, but people do customize scamps, you know, removing things. So they may have been there, but someone might have removed it for additional head space. I really just don't know. But I do know we don't have it, so it's pretty cool to know that our new scamp that's on order will come with that overhead cabinet and additional storage space. So, as you can see, there's quite a good number of features that come available with the scamp. And then you do have some uh, extra features you can add for an additional charge. There's the larger bed, flush toilet, sink in the bathroom. And I'm not going to go over everything, just sort of skim through the list and touch on some of the highlights. There's the AC, of course, that's a very popular one. Glass stove top, burner, furnace, electric brakes for safety. I think that's a, a good choice. Um, awning, that, that's clutch. We use that a lot. We like having that uh, seating area with the shade and cover for a light rain. Um, TV related options, the dual propane tanks. Um, come with the generator, outdoor shower. That's a cool feature. Solar panel kit. That would be uh, good on those days where you don't always have hookups. And then uh, a couple things for stepping in and out of the, the scamp. You get the doorstep and the grab bar, make things a little easier. All right, and then, um, oh yeah, I didn't mention that the standard has the, the classic red stickers and color scheme. That is a key feature of the standard. It's got that red theme. And I, perfectly honest, for me, that's kind of like the classic look for the scamp, and it's what I prefer. When you go deluxe, you get the gold colors, which does look cool, but the, the red and the white to me is iconic and it sort of gives the scamp its feel, so I do prefer it. Um, the standard features for the Deluxe are somewhat similar to um, what's on the standard. One thing I, I note is that the larger bed does come stock in the Deluxe, so it's not an upgrade option. It is, it is standard in the Deluxe version. And also, as I mentioned, it's all wood interior. For that wood, you have the choice of oak or birch. And by and large, I think that the um, upgrades are pretty much what's available for the standard. I'm not sure if there's much of a change. And now all this information I'm sharing, it's from my own independent research, looking at the site and talking to the sales team at Evelyn's. And really, if you want some the best information, the best thing you can do is contact one of the sales reps at Evelyn's and they'll tell you everything you need to know about scamps and the options. Now, Moving on from the options and features, let's take a look at the various floor plans. Okay, so there really are five layout options when it comes to the 13 foot scamps. For the standard, there are two options and they're numbered as layout one and layout two. 
and then for the deluxe there are three versions and those are not numbered they're lettered you have layout a layout b and layout c three deluxe op options two standard for a total of five so let's take a look first at the standard scamp layout options layout one actually is the layout that we have on order currently it's supposed to be ready in march of 2023 so we're getting close and we're getting excited but this is the layout that we went with now this layout at the front of the scamp has the sofa and bunk bed area with an upper uh, optional upper storage area that doesn't come stock but if you pay for the upgrade you can have that extra storage space on top um, i think for for all of the scamp 13 foot layouts it's consistent that the sink and stovetop is in this area right across from the door this is the entry point the door so directly in front is the sink kitchen type area with the fridge beneath and then towards the back you have the dinette that turns into the bed area and as i mentioned before the rear overhead cabinet from what I, i'm reading here on the website is now a standard feature giving you that extra storage space up top towards the back here and then there's additional storage in the closet to the left as soon as you enter the scan and now i'm going to talk about layout two and then i'm going to jump back and compare layout two and layout one and explain why for us layout one was the way to go but i can see for all of the layout options i can understand why it would be preferable over other layouts depending on your situation such as how many people you're traveling with and how much gear you have with you and your towing capacity and all those different things now layout two is actually the layout that we have for our current 13 foot scamp fanny when you enter to the right there's closet space both on the right and to the left but whereas you had the bunk area on the right now you have a toilet shower space with the door now ours doesn't actually have a shower it is just a toilet but frankly we don't use the toilet i have no interest in dumping anything or messing around with that black water it's a closet for us which is nice it's good storage and we've used it for that and i'm glad the space is there but it's not as though we stack things all the way to the top either so there's a lot of dead space kind of wasted there and a lot of extra weight we're pulling with that toilet being in there so since we don't use it that sort of is a main reason why we've uh, found it to be not necessary but i know many people like the the flexibility that comes with having your own bathroom the privacy and as well as when you're boondocking that makes that a much more feasible option uh, for those for those long nights again you have the sink area uh, directly towards the back and then the dinette and the rear space of this layout too is not any different than layout one um, really the, the major difference is the front whereas one has an additional seating area or bed bunk beds if you have uh, small enough people traveling with you to, to sleep in a upper bunk um, whereas this one has a toilet and shower bath area now for us main reason that layout one is the best choice for us is that we just don't use the bathroom so you know when you're in a 13 foot scamp you want to make as good a use of the space as you can so having that extra space you know really that dead space was just sort of wasteful for us but we've also you know modified our, our bedding area the dinette stays it's in a permanent bed position we have a mattress that lays on top that's more comfortable so that that is our, our sleeping area but since we don't have a bunk area that's our sitting area that's a, basically our whole chilling space in the scamp is that one bed area and it's worked for us it's fine if we need to eat if it's raining outside you know we'll just sit on there on top of the mattress and hang out there but it would be very nice for us to sort of have those the two options in two spaces maybe one of us could sit on the, the the bed another one could sit on the couch or maybe if you just want to sit and read or eat it's more comfortable to sit on like a bench type seat as opposed to sitting up on top of a mattress with an extra mattress on top of it so just functionally speaking and as as far as making the the scamp a living space this layout does work better for us additionally you know our towing vehicle is, is pretty low towing capacity we're safe we've weighed it we know we're safe we're sort of at the upper limit and you know if we could reclaim some of that weight we'd either have uh, just a little bit more comfort zone or the ability to load our scamp with a little more gear if we ever need to do so for any specific reason so losing the weight that the toilet brings is another good feature for us i was afraid in making this decision to lose the bathroom and go with the bunks that maybe we'd lose some of the storage that comes with this but this bunk area has storage underneath and additionally 
upon learning that this overhead cabinet is available, you know, we really don't lose much storage space at all. All right, now let's take a look at the layouts for the deluxe scamp options. Now I will say deluxe was never really something that we gave much consideration to. I do like the wood and it does look nice, but it does add extra weight. And you know, at the extra cost, the, the look of the wood doesn't really do enough for me to justify the uh, extra expense. So we only ever looked at the standards, but I do have to say some of the layout options are pretty cool and pretty appealing for the deluxe. And this layout A is actually kind of quite cool. As I mentioned, it'd be good to have that extra seating area. You know, this is even better because this is like a dinette. So we could keep our bed, you know, in the bed layout. But Dawn and I could eat over here in the dinette and actually have a table to, to eat upon. So that's kind of cool. And also there's an extra closet space towards the back, which gives you even more storage. Which, you know, when it comes to a small fiberglass trailer, storage, you know, is kind of clutch. So I think this is kind of a neat layout. You know, do I think it's neat enough that I pay the extra cost for the deluxe in order to get this as opposed to the simple layout one no but it's pretty cool um, otherwise everything beyond the front is uh, pretty comparable to both layout one and two for the standards um, you can tell that the, the extra beds a little bigger taking up a little bit more space a little bit smaller closet here it appears but yeah a pretty cool option layout a with the, the double dinette i like that now layout b is very much like layout two basically it's the same as layout too um, there's really not much difference that I can see here at all you have the shower and the toilet and the closet up towards the front the only difference again is I think this bedding area is a little bit different or larger I'm sorry which is uh, making your closet here appear apparently just a little bit smaller but layout B is uh, pretty much the same as layout 2 and then lastly we have layout C which is the deluxe version of layout 1 you know you got the bunk beds up front which, you know, the bunk beds, that, that's that's key if you're traveling with kids, especially, you know, a couple kids. You know, I think the bunk bed sort of makes that um, sort of like the default option for someone traveling with, uh, you know, a larger group of people. Or maybe if you're traveling with dogs, larger dogs in particular, you want a place for them to lay. You know, if you go with one of the choices where it's a toilet up front, you know, they're either going to be on the bed with you or on the ground. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, pros and cons to each of these options. Um, you know, it's nice. I think Scamp does provide some good layouts um, and different options that meet a variety of needs for potential Scamp owners. All right, guys. So there you have it. That was a very basic overview of the various options, upgrades, and layouts available for the 13-foot Scamps. Hopefully this information was helpful. As I've made it very well known, I'm not an expert on Scamps. Most of the knowledge I have, I've gained through my own independent research and experiences with my Scamp. So it's a good chance I may have gotten something wrong. If you heard anything inaccurate in this video, or if there's anything important that I may have missed, please get in the comments and let us know and set me straight, please. I would really greatly appreciate that, you know, because it helps me learn as well. I will be doing additional videos later where I cover the options available for both the 16 footers and the 19 foot fifth wheel. So stay tuned because those videos are up and coming. Hey, if you like this video at all, please consider giving me that thumbs up and think about subscribing to follow along because we're going to have plenty more scamp and travel related content coming in the future. We're very excited for some trips that are coming down the pipe. So join us for that journey. Think about subscribing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. There's always more coming because scamps like us were born to camp. All right. Later.